we thought we were ready to go. Turns out we were wrong. In our last solar shed video, we totally changed our plans. Yeah, we were going to do straw bale building, but once we found out the cost of lumber, we changed our mind and we're going with earth bag. Yeah, so we actually dug our trench foundation and thought we were good to go, and then we realized we still have a whole bunch to do. Once we got a level on our trench, we realized there was a 20 inch difference from the back side of the building to the front side of the building, which is crazy. We didn't think that we knew there was a slope. We just didn't know, but it was that drastic. Yeah. So we had to. We ended up having to dig deeper in the back so that we would still have a few earth bags underground on the front. Mm -hmm. And then it was time to bring in the gravel. Our first layer of gravel ended up being what is called one screened. So it's got some larger rocks and some smaller rocks. Yeah. We laid that in there first, and then we added three quarter inch gravel to level it all out everywhere. Right, and so that's when we really like took the level and we made sure it was exactly the same height all the way around the trench. As you can hear behind us, we've already started to fill in the rebel trench the rest of the way. So we would put in like our big rocks mm -hmm. and now we're putting in our three quarter inch gravel to bring everything up to the exact same level. So we're gonna get to it. We got lots of gravel to move. And lots of people helping. These guys are awesome. Day, Day two, two. Rubble, rubble trench, trench. complete. <laughs> Such a nice. And we had to come back in and add buttresses to the long vertical wall because if it's over 12 feet, technically it's supposed to have some extra support if you're building earth bag. So we dug in the space for those buttresses and we were finally ready to go. Buttress. So on this wall, there will be a door. Right here's the front door. Right where Ashley is. And then we'll have two buttresses here. Because this wall is going to be longer than 10 feet, we need buttress supports. So we've got two small buttresses that we'll be putting here on each side of the door. Once we had all the gravel down and the buttresses dug, we were really excited to get in there and lay our first earth bag. But turns out, there's still more prep work. Really? So much prep work. <laughs> okay, so for the dome part, right, you have to have a compass. Yeah, there's several different compasses that you can use, but we are going with a chain compass. What we've done is take a four by four post and dug it two feet into the ground. So this is our compass that we're gonna be using. It's just a simple chain compass, which was super annoying. Look at this. <laughs> Why is it? Why? Why is it not one single link? It's so dumb. Anyway, this is the wheel caster we got. When you're doing a compass like this, you want to make sure you get a caster that spins 360. Okay. And having a carabiner on here to quickly detach, and a carabiner on here to where this is your guide. Let me show you how it's going to work. Pretend that this is gravel and it's not a bag because we haven't laid bags yet. 
But this is how, see this, this is gonna be our guide to where we see where our bag should be when we get to the bag part. And then for the rectangle part, we needed to put string lines back in so that as we build up those vertical walls, we know how far they need to come in. Yeah, and when we were digging this trench, we thought, oh, this will be perfect. We can just lay the dirt right next to the building so that we can fill our bags easy. Turns out you don't want to do that because yeah. you need to have a string level or a string line up there. Yeah, we had dirt piles we moved all dirt piles. in the way of the string lines. How we, many times did we move them? We moved those dirt piles. Well, first we moved them for the buttresses. Yeah. Then we moved them for the string lines. Yeah. So I don't even know, like just, two or three piles. Just keep them away from your building. Yeah, just way far. Just go ahead and, I know it's easier just to throw it like out of the trench, but just go ahead and move them back because. Rookie mistake. <sighs> now we know. After watching a few videos and reading a couple books, we decided that there are a few things that we can do to make this build a little bit easier. Yeah, by the time you, you get into like moving this much dirt and mixing it, like there's a few tools that would probably be handy, even with as many people as we have. <laughs> First of which is a cement mixer. Yes, we've got to mix a lot of dirt, we got to add water to it so that it will harden up and it will tamped together so a cement mixer is a huge a huge thing that will help us move a lot faster I think and it's something else for us to put together yay and to know how to maintain and yay. manage yay more tools and where to store it <laughs> yeah where are we gonna store it <laughs> I don't know okay ooh what did we get cement mixer oh yeah it says mix that cement <laughs> well the dirt it that says dirt. it will take an hour and a half to put it together so we're counting on five-ish hours for it that's about how it goes for us yeah it took us an hour to put together that one wheel barrel that was longer than an hour So this is what happens when you buy something from Harbor Freight and they don't label any of the hardware. They just say use 55 and there's no reference for what 55 is except for some list that doesn't actually tell you any dimension. So we're having to separate everything so that we can figure out what's what by quantity because that's apparently the only way to figure it out. Thanks Harbor Freight. Thanks. <laughs> The directions say, fasten the tops of the mixer blades to the upper drum using hex bolts, washers, seal gaskets, hex flange nuts, and we have two gaskets and there's four holes. So. Three and a half hours in, nobody's happy, everybody's hungry. This is the worst. Problem number 435. The key is supposed to go in here and then into here to put the whole like assembly together there's a defect on this so that like this one it slides in and it fits there right like it's supposed to but it doesn't fit in this because it's sticking out can't hammer it so I don't know what we're gonna do file it down maybe Oh, what is that for? I was wondering what that was for. 
guys. Hands off. It's not finished. Hands off. <laughs> also, there we need some sort of of delivery system into these bags, right? Right. A lot of videos we watch, someone's just holding a bucket the whole time while other people are throwing dirt in it, yeah. which is fine, but there's got to be a way to make it a little bit faster. We've seen a couple people utilize a dolly, just rig it up to where the bucket is sitting on the dolly mm -hmm. to where nobody has to hold it and we have more people that can throw dirt inside. Yeah. And so we have attempted to reverse engineer what they have done because no one seems to explain it very well. Yeah. So we finally figured it out. We're going to make our own video. It will tell you all the steps and exactly how to put it together from scratch, which we're pretty excited about because it's going to work. It's going to be good. I can feel it. It'll save us some time. I can feel it. Yeah. You can feel it. I can feel it. What can you feel? I can, I can feel it. Okay. I think we finally figured it out. So the key is... But now you know, now you don't have to do it four times. That's what we're hoping. With all that finished, now we can finally start laying the first course of the earth bag. And that will be next week. So make sure you subscribe and you're following. This is going to be really exciting.